Can you remember the last time you've used one of these? I can't, because today, like most people, I use this, the maps on my mobile phone. It's faster, more efficient, and most of all, I can find pretty much anything around me within a couple of clicks. With over a billion downloads, Google Maps has become one of the most popular apps ever. Showing up on Google Maps can bring a lot of customers to your business, as long as you're listed on them. If your business is not listed on Google Maps, then stay tuned because today I'm going to show you exactly how to add your business to Google Maps. Hi everyone and welcome to another free digital marketing lesson brought to you by RankingAcademy.co.uk. My name is Luke Durand and in this episode I will show you how to add your business to Google Maps in two simple steps. So let's get started with step one. Although you may already have a personal Google account, I would still recommend creating a new one specifically for your business. It's best to keep business and personal matters separate. To do this, head over to accounts.google.com slash sign up. For the sake of this tutorial, I am going to turn myself into a divorce solicitor and create the following Gmail address, ldsolicitorslimited at gmail.com. Fill in your first and last name and then choose an email address in relation to your business. So here I will use LD Solicitors Limited. Fill in the rest of the details including a memorable password, date of birth and mobile number. Use a valid number as it will be very useful later on if you forget your password. Enter your current email address. Prove you're not a robot by entering the text displayed in the picture and choose the correct location. Click next step. You should now see a privacy and terms pop-up appearing on your screen. Scroll all the way down and click I agree. And that's it. You should now see the Google welcome screen and your new email address being displayed on the top right hand side of your screen. How easy was that? I think it took just over one minute. Let's move on to step two. Set up a page on Google My Business. Setting up a page on Google My Business will help display information about your business on Google Maps, but also in Google Local Pack results, as well as Google Local Organic results. It's a great way to display consistent information across the three areas, and it's easily manageable. Armed with our newly created Gmail account, we can now set up a Google My Business page by going to google.co.uk slash business. We are now on the home page of Google My Business. The next thing we need to do is to log in using our freshly created Gmail account. Just click on the Get onto Google button. Enter your Gmail account address, your password and sign in. If your business has been open for some time, it may already be on Google Maps. To check if this is the case, just enter the name of your business in the search box located on the top left of the screen. It is possible to search using a postcode or a full address. In our case, I will search for the name of my fictitious business, LD Solicitors Limited. Since there isn't any results matching my business, Google offers me the option to add it to Google Maps. And that's exactly what I'm going to do by clicking on the link Add Your Business. From here I am going to enter my business details starting with My business name. The name should reflect your business in the real world as found on your website, your business cards or your shop front. The next thing we're going to fill in is the country region. This should default to the UK, so leave it as it is or change to the desired country. Then the address. You must use a physical address. No PO boxes or mailboxes will be accepted. Post town. Is the town your business is located in, obviously. And here, we'll say it's London. County. If you are unsure about which county your business is located, go to Map Developers dot com slash what county am I in? Type your postcode in the search box and this tool will give you the answer. In this instance, we are in Greater London. Postcode. Enter the postcode of your business. Main business phone. Enter your main business phone number. Identifying the correct category for your business is extremely important and can be a bit of a minefield. Your choice of category will send a very strong signal to Google as to what your business is about. 
Since I am a solicitor, I am going to type solicitor in the category field. As you can see, nothing comes up. Using Google category suggestion can be a bit clunky and misleading. However, help is at hand. Open a new browser window and head over to bluementhos.com slash google underscore lvc underscore categories. This tool lists all categories available in Google and will help you choose the correct one for your business. Trying solicitor here still returns a blank. This means it doesn't exist in Google categories. My next bet is lawyer. The tool returns 11 results including one for divorce lawyer. Although I am a lawyer in this example, the most appropriate category will be divorce lawyer. The number of categories to choose from can be overwhelming. This is when this tool becomes powerful as it will bring up synonyms based on your query. When I type cleaning in the search box, not only it will return all the results that match the query, but also other alternatives such as chimney sweep or dry cleaner. Now I have established that the correct category for my business is divorce lawyer, I just need to go back to the Google form and enter it. Lastly, there is a box at the bottom of the form asking if we deliver goods and services to customer's location. Since we do not, we'll leave it blank. You can now click on the continue button. We now have to confirm we are authorized to manage the account. Tick the box and click continue. Since we have entered all the relevant details for our business, all that remains for us to do is validate our business listing using a postcard Google will send us. Hover on the mail me my code box and click. You can add a contact name if you wish before clicking the send postcard button. Click on the send postcard button. The next screen will display a message from Google saying you need to verify your business using a code which they will send you. In a few days, you should receive a postcard from Google which will direct you to google.com slash verify my business. From there, log into your Google account and enter your verification code. This will just let Google know you are able to receive mail and validate that your business is legitimate. And that's it. Once you've done this, your business will be available on Google Maps. By doing this, you have also created a Google Plus account, which might be very useful later on for your brand. And once you're waiting for your postcard to turn up, I strongly advise that you complete your Google My Business profile with relevant information such as image, opening hours, etc. This is covered in my video called How to Optimize Google My Business page. If you have found this video useful, like it, subscribe to my channel. For bonus content, go to my website at rankingacademy.co.uk or you can also follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you later for some more videos on how to put your business on the map.